Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Julian. I'm here to do my reaction video for Season 8, Episode 9 of The Vampire Diaries. This time the title of the episode is The Simple Intimacy of the Near Touch. And I am excited as always to continue watching and to continue enjoying this final episodes for the vampire diaries i think it hasn't hit me yet that i am about to finish this amazing show and it's just like i'm still you know going the 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 ongoing joke with i don't liking like not liking mad and things like that and i'm still very much enjoying it not really fully like it hasn't fully sink in that after episode 16 of this season, that is it for the Vampire Diaries. Of course, I still have the originals and legacies to enjoy, but as far as the Vampire Diaries go, that that's gonna be it. But yeah, I'm excited, like I said, and I hope that you guys are excited as well. I'm liking this season so far. Civil is a really good villain. So is Cade and, well, now the Salvatore brothers, which, you know, even though I've been complaining about some aspects, I'm feeling like I'm understanding the bigger picture. Uh, so, yeah, hopefully a lot of more good things uh, will happen, and I'm, I'm really, really excited for the new episode. So, yeah, hope that you guys enjoy. Hope that you guys continue supporting for more. Please give this video a lot of thumbs up if you love The Vampire Diaries. Subscribe for more comic, hit the notification bell, and you can go to Patreon to watch the full extended version for this episode. And that's it. Yeah, thank you so much for watching, and without further ado, let's just begin with Season 8, Episode 9 of The Vampire Diaries. <laughs> Hold on to that, baby. Hold on. Oh, every time I try and tell her no, my mouth says yes. Well, yeah, that was also a secret, no, right? Mystic Falls. It's because that woman is still in your head. That woman main, mm -hmm. named who? Sybil or Elena? Okay. And we. Bonjour. Hello. Oh, How long has it been? Oh. That's morbid. Yeah. Charming. I mean, I mean of an eternity with you, love. I mean, seems out like of the creepy things, things happening here on the Vampire Diaries, that sure cannot be the creepiest. I mean, you don't want to. Don't worry, I'm not. <laughs> Did you want to congrats in person? <laughs> Stop it. Do at an event. <laughs> Miss Victor Falls, really? Is there something more with her? I hate this. this is, I remember episode 119. I remember the moment Delena caught my heart, but I was like, oh no, I'm not shipping that. But I was like, freaking out. Oh, do you guys remember that? <sighs> do I miss Delena? The all good, good days of Delena. Oh, it's been too long. It's been too long. I need Delena in my life again. Tell me you still have the tuning fork. Payback. No, actually, no. That is not the... Like, for him to be this reckless and wanting this boy to go ahead and go and try to get revenge from Sirens, knowing all the shit he got himself into, he has also died a couple of times. Never had quite a stay with him. But, like... I just... He annoys me so much. Those are the last. Oh my god, the beauty. So handsome! They're so handsome. <laughs> they are too handsome, I swear to god. They are too handsome. You guys okay, Carol. Oh my god. Up, <laughs> you don't, I can't. Do this. Do you remember? If we get flashbacks, I will kill. Ah! I was just talking about this! Get out, Sybil! Trust me. Oh. <gasps> no, of course I don't. don't know what's glitching here. Exactly what I need to do. <laughs> <laughs> How did you do that? I mean, just because Kai said no loopholes doesn't mean that there isn't one. Right? 
This show is about the loopholes. Come on. Is the love that you and Elena have for each other. Oh my God, you said it's true. Being here and feeling what you're feeling proves that a love that deep and real. I cannot can believe Carla is saying this. I appreciate it though. Win over anything. And of course, twice have I been there that day. The oh, fuck off. Heaven. I don't care about Elena. Yes, you do. And mm -hmm. it meant yeah. something to you. It meant everything to you. Event, this place, it only means something to you because of the feelings you attach to it. Your lizard brain is trying to remind you. <laughs> you <the> lizard brain. Look at that. a bit damaged. And trust that Elena is right here dancing with you. I love that. I love that it's Caroline it saying it. this. Elena Gilbert went to love with a vampire that makes me feel alive. <laughs> She's so I I love Buddy so much. Man? No. Mm. Remember, remember Elena. She kinda looks well no, she doesn't, but it kinda oh, looks like her. She understands why she keeps asking. I'm pretty sure if he's gonna respect the fact that she just wouldn't do it, you know? Hearing what you've done. Shut up. God damn. I'm afraid to face my humanity. Oh, Damon. I think he's fooling her. How dumb do you think I am? I to follow Matt? Matt? To Alara? Helping <laughs> mm. us assemble a weapon that can kill a siren. You are a siren. Once the bell is assembled, there's only one family who can ring it. Ah, oh, the Matt was. Fucking finally means something to the story. If he's giving her that striker. The more you try and push her out, the more I understand she's never going away. No, ever. There's not enough room in my head for both of you. Yes! Thank you, Damon. Thank you. Put it right there. Sure. Matt, why didn't you tie him up? So. Unless you want to call the whole thing off, blood is on your hands too. Smart, Caroline. What if it could be ours? What do you mean? The cure? What if you could take the cure? Oh my god. I was thinking about the cure. <laughs> Ah, pool of blood, you. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> I made Siren cry. <laughs> What's my prize? <laughs> my prize? How about your precious humanity back? All of it. Oh. Everything inside your head you have to fear. Okay, guys, that was the end of season eight, episode nine of the Vampire Diaries. This was a good episode. Good episode because you know, you know. Here's the thing: as a Daylina fan, I've been we've been through the worst sometimes, you know. Also, right now for the past two seasons, we don't even have half of our ship. You know, and um, it sucks. So the little things that we get sometimes are rewarding in a sense, you know. So seeing um, little parts of Daylena, because that moment for Daylena that is so much part of Damon that links him to those first moments where he finally accepts his love for Elena, the sparks that we saw in that first dance, the unexplicable magnetic force these two characters have. Um, it's something, honestly, it, it started there, you know, it started, it started there. It started there for me too. So seeing it, little rays of sunshine, it really makes it a world of a difference. I miss Daylena so freaking much. 
like Bonenso, it's amazing and they're romantic as hell and like I cannot be happier than than Bonnie finding someone who will go to the end of the earth for her someone who she can call her hero because she is a hero to everyone else um it's amazing and then you have a stereo line which it's also amazing but the ship that has always talked to my heart and has always like made me go crazy is Daylena. you know Daylena is that ship for me i i have a lot of ships most of them are women loving women ships you know um but Daylena is one of those few ships where well especially since they're a straight ship but it's one of those ships for me that it just there is no way to explain why i like them why i love them I probably if i had like three hours of your time i probably could rant about Daylena. Uh, but to see that, to see how that much, like that moment that means so much to me, it also means so much to the story. And for me to actually see that when I saw that the first time, it was, it was real, you know, what I felt was real and what everyone else felt about this, this scene was also real. So it's, it was just amazing. It was amazing that finally, you know, um, little by little, the love for Elena went back, you know, and I know that, you know, I've been a little bit harsh on Damon about not fighting back, about doing everything civil said, but you have to understand he was under this spell, you know, and he was, you know, afraid and like that just overtook him, you know, and not having Elena, not having anything to fight for, it just made him you know, me, Sybil's bitch. And like, I hated it. But now seeing him that he once again found that silver lining, that, that light at the end of the tunnel that is Elena, I just, it's amazing. And I love the thing is here, I love the um, going back and forth with, with the brothers. You have seen Stefan on the right path, Damon going head first towards the towards the evil side. And then now slowly D Stefan is going to the dark path while uh Damon is coming back to the good side. Um it's wonderful. I feel like if someone can pull Stefan back it's also Damon, Damon and, and Caroline uh, together uh, because he feels like he's very much gone. But, you know, I, I, I still have hopes for him. Of course I do. And, you know, in a way I feel like the reason why um, Caroline helped him, reminding him of the love he has for Lena which is not something that she will do. It's because she also is is holding up hope that if he can help Damon, she will be able to help Stefan, you know. And knowing as well that, you know, Stefan will need Damon, you know. So her understanding, understanding on the relationship between these two brothers is also amazing and it's also beautiful that even though she doesn't like Damon, even though, you know, she has her issues with him, hasn't fully forgiven him for everything, which is in her right, um, she still understands that Damon is a big thing for, for Stefan. Um, like I said, this episode was just wonderful. I really, really liked it. Uh, and now Damon is going to be flowed with all these feelings. You know, which is probably going to make it make it worse for him, you know. And I feel sorry for him. I do. I truly do. Um, but yeah, a lot of good things are going to happen in this episode. Well, a lot of good things happen in this episode. Also, we find out. And also now Matt has a purpose. Fucking finally. Uh, do I care about it? No, I care about the story, yes. But I, you know, at least now there is a reason for this idiot to be alive. I mean... 
I mean, his dad is still here. Maybe his dad can do it. I wouldn't mind losing Matt. I swear to God, I wouldn't mind. Like, he has lo like left way too much for this world, okay? Um, but anyways, now there's a reason. Because apparently the ones, the only ones that ha can ring that bell for it to, to hurt the sirens are uh, Matt's family, the Maxwells. So, and why is he a Donovan? Oh, he has his mom's last name? I, I don't care. But honestly, amazing episode. Loved it. Celine, I just, uh, I don't know. She's so cute. Even Sybil, too. Like, I like the hot type of evil siren. And also like the sympathetic siren uh, with Celine. It's just like, they're so hot, both of them. <sighs> Cannot even. Um, am I shipping? Will I ship Caroline and Sybil or Caroline and Celine? I could. I would. I am. <laughs> uh, all jokes aside, it's a really interesting storyline. I'm really liking it. I'm really liking it. And, you know, in terms of the uh, brothers and all that, I think it's a really good full circle, you know, for both to go dark and for both to come back to the light. I like that. Um, but anyways, that's it. I hope that you guys have enjoyed my reaction video and continue supporting for more. Please give a lot of thumbs up if you love The Vampire Diaries. Subscribe for more, comment, hit the notification bell, and you can go to Patreon to watch the full extended reaction video for this episode. And that will be it. Thank you so much guys for watching, for supporting, and I will see you guys next time for more reaction videos for The Vampire Diaries. Mwah! Bye guys!